Hello everybody, welcome back. In today's video, I'm doing a tutorial on the Gradient Alpha. I'm going to be making this one, but there are yellow and pink versions that I make as well. So that's fun. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so I am back with my base strings cut at about a wingspan's length. And my Gradient Alpha color wound onto a bobbin. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the beginning and we're going to take our gradient alpha color, our base color, or our um, main color, and we're going to attach them onto the end like that and just go the whole length of the strings with that. So now we have 12 colors or strings, but when we fold it in half, so we're going to take this end, the top end, and go find the bottom end, which is where this bobbin is at, match them up, and then we're going to fold it all the way in half, and then mark a place where you want to start your loop. So I'm going to start mine right here, so I'm going to take all that string and take my clipboard and clip this section onto my clipboard. Now what you do is bring all your strings closer and then take your bobbin and wind up on the string until you are way closer to the stop. Okay, so I'm where I wanna be and I like to tie about 25 knots for my buckle so you do backward forward knots backward and then forward knots until you have like an inch or an inch and a half. I just tie 25 knots. So go ahead and tie your 25 knots and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now my buckle is the length that I want. So I'm just gonna take off my clipboard and fold it in half so I can see it. It's pretty small, but I prefer my buckles to be small. And then we're gonna try and get all this string out. And we're gonna take this, put it over here, and then put your buckle together at the end and clip it onto your clipboard. Now, I don't like to do any preferred shape stars for this because it just, I don't know, I just don't. So what we're gonna do is just set out our strings in some kind of order. For me, I'm just kind of choosing because, well, we really don't have a lot of string. Okay, so this first row is going to be kind of difficult, but it's pretty easy. It's just forward knot, and then the other row is backward knot, and then you just repeat that the whole bracelet. So basically, take your string and do a forward knot over the first string. Then do a forward knot over the closest second one. Then a forward knot over the third. Another forward knot. And then the final forward knot. So now you should have done five forward knots. But then now we have to add this bundle to it. So we choose the closest one. For me it's this string. And we're going to have to do a forward knot over the string to bring the two sides together. So just pull as tight as you can. And then set it off to the side with the others. Now do another forward knot. And another forward knot. Almost done. And then another forward knot. And then the final forward knot for this row. So basically we just did a row of forward knots like you would on a normal alpha bracelet. Even though it's not straight right now, it's still kind of crooked. We can, it's fine because we're gonna continue knotting the bracelet. Okay, now for step two, which is the second and final step in this bracelet, we do a row of backward knots all the way across. 
So I'll just do that with you in real time. Still doing the bow of backward knots. See, this bracelet is generally pretty easy, which is why I can make so many of them. They don't take very long. Well, they take me like over an hour, but still, it's because I'm not slow. And almost done with this row. Okay, now that's pretty much your entire bracelet from forward to backward, and then you just keep going forward again, and then you go backward again. That's pretty much it. So you can go to the timestamp, I'll have links in the video where I do the little forward knots, but it's a pretty easy bracelet. Good luck. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you found it helpful and you made the bracelet, you can also um, tag me in the photos on Instagram. I'm at Creations by Clara. My name should pop up right there. And leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching.